In this exercise, we will see how you can load the data to the BigQuery. Actually, we will upload the data set to the BigQuery project. First, we will create a data set, then create a table inside the data set, and then we will upload the data, or you can say we will load the data inside that created table with the help of the Cloud SDK. For that, we will use the BigQuery utility tool in order to access the BigQuery from your Cloud SDK. Next, we type down the BigQuery command, that is BQ, and press enter. After a while, this will let you enter into the BigQuery, that is the BigQuery interface. Next, we will see the list of available datasets under the project which we have created for that. We will write down BQLS followed by the project ID, which is my first BigQuery project in our case type, colon, and then we press enter. So here are the two datasets demo BigQuery and sales record detail which are present right now under the project name my first BigQuery project ID. Okay, first we will create a new dataset. So for that we use the command BQMK to make a new dataset. And currently I have a dataset for the baby's name provided by Google. So I will create the dataset with the name baby names and press enter. And now you can see that the dataset under my first BigQuery project with the name baby names is created successfully. So next, we will now load the data to this dataset. These are the dataset files which you can see. So YOB actually stands for the year of birth and this file contains from the 1880s uh, to the 2019, the names of different babies throughout these years. So let's open this dataset YOB 2019 and you can see here you have three fields. The first one is the name. Then you have gender and then you have the total count for the particular name. Like for example, how many times the Emma appeared in the year 2019 can be seen here. Now we will upload this data set to the project under which we have created the new latest with the name baby names. But before you upload the data, you must first ensure that the data set is available in this current folder in which you are working on the cloud SDK. So I will copy this link and I will open this directly here and to ensure that this file is present first so you can see the YOB 2019 file is not present over here. So I will go back and copy the file and then move it back to the current working directory for the cloud SDK. So now we will load the data to the data set, but before that we will see the bqls command so that we ensure that our data set is created under the project name. So here you can see the baby names data set is created so we have the dataset ID for this. Loading the dataset here in the cloud SDK for BigQuery is different from loading in the web console. Here you have to define the schema by ourselves, whereas in the cloud, we have an option for automatic schema generation. In this command line interface, we will write down BQ load, then followed by the dataset name, which is baby names dot uh, 2019. Now this dot names 2019 is actually the table name which we have created with the syntax. And after that we write down the file uh, which we need to load or you can say upload as a data set for the, this table which is yob.txt. If you come back and see the data set, uh, here we have the name which is a string. We have the gender, which is also a string, and we have the count, which is an integer value. So we will need to define the schema in this command line interface. For that, we will write down the name, colon string, gender colon string, 
count colon integer and then we press enter uh, look like it looks like some syntax error so okay we will remove this space from each schema we have given so this is not a part of the syntax and uh, after removing the spaces then press enter and now here you can see that it's uploading the data set so now the upload is completed and we are done Let's see if table is created with the names 2019 name for that we will write down bqls command. So we write for that bqls and the dataset name which is actually baby names. So you can see that the table ID is available with the type table. This means that the dataset we wanted to create is now created. So if you want to see the schema for our created data set table, we will write down BQ show baby names and followed by the table name which is names 2019. So you can see the schema that we have three fields named as a string gender in the string and count as integer and it also shows you the total rows and total bytes of the available data set. Now I will try to upload another data set. So here is the folder I have already placed the BT records inside the folder and let's open it. So this is the data set for the bank transaction records. Here you have the fields, date, description, deposits, withdraws and balance. Let's try to upload this data set. So ensure once again that the data set you want to upload is placed in your current working folder of the cloud SDK. So in order to upload this data, I will first have to create a new data set. So I will follow the same steps for creating the data set. So here I will write down BQMK bank transaction details and then press enter so the data set is successfully created Let's check if our data set is created. So we will type down BQLS. This will list down all the data set available in our project. So here we can see that the bank transaction details data set is created. Let us now load the data in this data set by creating a table. We will write BQ load transaction details. dot then we will give a table name that we want to create let us name it as transactions after that we will give the file name which is bt records dot csv and the next thing we need to do is we will have to give the schema as well okay so let us now define the schema so we have the date uh, which is a string the description which is also a string deposit which is a floating value and withdrawals is also a floating value and the balance is also a floating value So this is what the schema is for our bank transaction details data set. If you come back to the data set, if you upload the data as it is, it will consider as uh, this draw, first draw as a data. So I will remove the first draw and save it.
Coming back to the command line interface and press enter. Now you can see that the upload is completed and the job is done. Ok, so now we will follow the same steps to save the table is created under the bank transaction details dataset. So for that I will type down bqls bank transaction details. This will tell me the details of the table created under the dataset. So here we can see we have uh, the transaction table created for our data set and this is the table ID which appears over here. Now we will see the schema for the table we have just created. For this uh, we will write down BQ show bank transaction details. dot transactions and then press enter so here you can see the schema for the data set was created we have the exact schema which we wanted, which we wanted. So this is how you actually load any type of data from your local PC to the Google BigQuery, and then you can see what is the schema and other relevant details of your created table. In our next lecture, we will see how you can perform some queries on these data sets using the Cloud SDK.